So we're with Luke Preston and Karina Bryant uh, at Camden Judo Club. Now Karina, um, everybody knows, won the bronze medal. Incredible achievement and um, the pride of Surrey Heath without any shadow of a doubt. How does it feel, Karina? Um, to be honest, it probably hasn't really sunk in yet. I haven't stopped. I've been trying to get around to see everybody. This is the first time back at um, Camberley, uh, at, the judo, well, at the judo club and actually in Camberley. So, um, yeah, it's just been pretty hectic. I'm, I'm waiting for that moment when I probably sit down for the TV and it all sinks in re and realise actually I've, I've finally achieved you know, the goal that I've been searching for so long. Yeah, now, we, we, I was watching earlier you training some of the local kids um, at the event that you're holding here today, and you're actually showing them the move that you, uh, that you used to win the, the bronze medal. Um, what, what's, I'll ask you, Luke, what sort of training and preparation goes into winning a, uh, an Olympic medal? Well, you know, for, for someone like Karina, it's the cul culmination of a, a long period of training. I mean, she's been doing judo 23 years. That's a long time, and what, one of the things she stressed to the kids today was the throw that she was showing is taking her years to perfect, and still sometimes now she might almost get it wrong. So it, for her, it's hours and hours and weeks and weeks, and months and months, years and years of training and competition to finally come away with an Olympic medal to match a world and European medals as a senior and a junior, so uh, um, amazing amount of effort. Right, so Karina, when, how old were you when you started judo? Um, I started just before my 10th birthday, so it was quite late, so a lot of people start sort of 6, 7, um, so yeah, I started quite late. And but how old are you now? 33. I, I thought it was rude to ask who I was age. Are you checking my math? Are you checking my math? <laughs> yeah, I'm 33 now, uh, 34 next year, so I've been doing it 23 years, a long so time. So dedication for you. Yeah. What message would you give to young people getting into any sport, not just judo? What message would you give them if, you, if they want to want to achieve the success that you've achieved? Just yeah, go and find a sport they, that they enjoy and have fun with it. Enjoy, you know, you need to enjoy what you're doing. Now, after 23 years, I still really enjoy enjoy judo, and when I'm not doing it, I miss it. Um, so I think that's a key thing. They need to enjoy it and have fun, um, and always have that belief. You know, when they when they do get um, more serious about the sport that they've chosen, to you know, keep 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 their self belief because you know, unfortunately, along the way, sometimes there are people that don't always believe in you, um, and you've just got to keep that self belief and and you know have have the support around you, which is which is really important. So Luke, yeah. um, we're so fortunate to have Camberley Judo Club right on our doorstep. Yeah. Any anyone, no matter what age, can take part in judo. Yeah. Here at Jack Camberley Judo Club. Um, how did it get involved? Just literally come down, come to our, have a look at our website, www.camleyjudo.co.uk, or come straight down and visit us at the Judo Club here on the Old Dean. You know, we're right next to the boxing club. Pop it, pop your head around the door. We'll give you a leaflet, give you some advice. And if you're a beginner senior, beginner junior, someone that's maybe lapsed from judo, there's a place for you at this club. Right, so there may even be some future... Olympic medalists in our community right now that we don't even know about. You know, for definite, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there was a time when Karina was young uh, that she idolised some of the top players and she's met them and probably seen some of their medals. And now, yeah. you know, she's she's in that role herself as the, as the current Olympic medalist. So that's how it works. And the, the theme of the Olympics was to inspire a generation. And today, it hopefully, you're seeing it, in it on a smaller scale. But in, in, this, in this borough, definitely, that's what we're trying to do. Final question: What was it like to be in the Olympic Village as one of the athletes? Uh, well, it's an amazing experience. You couldn't, you, you know, you just couldn't imagine being a part of such a massive team. Um, obviously, you're not just a judo team; you're part of Team GB, and we all come together, all sports. You know, we all get behind each other, especially when we're all finished competing. And, and it's really nice to, to represent the nation and, and get behind each other from, a, from a, like I say, a wider range of uh, sports. I was here on the, on the day uh, that you got the, the bronze medal, mm. the community was right behind you, the atmosphere in here was absolutely incredible. Yeah. So, uh, I yeah. Think, yeah, I think you know, the video there that's, that's out, it sums up what we're all about and you could see the pride and the passion on everyone's face, so it was, it, that was a brilliant for us to see what yeah. was actually happening here afterwards was, was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing to see, you know, thank you to everyone that actually came out and supported us all because it, was, it really made the, the games really special.